Hey folks, I'm Troy and you're watching TroyTube. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to apply vinyl to surfaces without bubbles. And we're gonna do this on something that's flat and we're also gonna do it on a wine glass. So stay tuned. One of the things a lot of people struggle with is applying adhesive vinyl to surfaces without getting air bubbles under them. Uh, it can be a real problem if you don't use the right technique. The only known cause for getting air bubbles under your vinyl when you apply it is application technique. So you have to practice and get used to this and be able to apply without bubbles in order for your projects to come out super nice. Now there's ways around it sometimes. I've had some people say that they've made things like a glass block and it had some bubbles in it and they said they put it in their car on a nice hot day out of direct sunlight just so that it will get warm and they work themselves out and that's probably the case because once it uh, gets hot it's going to expand and that air bubble that air is going to expand and it's probably going to just seep out and uh, stick really well to the glass and eliminate those air bubbles but you can do this without having to go through those steps now to do this a couple things you're going to want is good transfer tape and a good squeegee. You can get both of these on our website at bulkvinyl.com, but a good transfer tape and a good squeegee will make your life a lot less stressful. And so let me move the camera around here and we'll get started and we'll show you how to apply vinyl to two different surfaces. Again, something flat, something curved without bubbles. All right, we're gonna do the flat object first. This is a uh, just an acrylic license plate cutout that I've had for quite some time. Just gonna use this for demo purposes. Still has the paper on one side. I've already peeled it off the front. And uh, as I said, couple things you're going to want to uh, have for this is a good squeegee and good quality transfer tape. So we get started by uh, cutting a piece of transfer tape off. I know I'm being a little bit wasteful here for the video but it's just uh, for the purposes of working the video a little faster for you guys. And uh, the way I typically do this especially with a larger decal is to apply it upside down and you just kind of tack one in and it's much the same technique as applying it to the surface is to use a squeegee to gradually go all the way across that way you don't get any major air bubbles or wrinkles in there and then as i mentioned uh in the transfer tape video just a couple light swipes with a squeegee should all be all that it takes and um it should peel right off like that. So if your vinyl isn't coming off that easy when you use the transfer tape, you probably need to evaluate your transfer tape and your technique. Now there's a couple ways that uh, we can do this. Um, we're just gonna kind of visually center it here. I'm not gonna, going, I'm not going for perfection, but um, there's two kind of methods here. One where you just go ahead and remove the entire piece of uh, paper backing. Uh, I'm going to just kind of show you briefly the other method, which is the hinge method, because I am going to remove all the, the uh, backing when I apply this for real. But what you would do with the hinge method is typically peel this off, and then uh, as you peel it, um, and as you apply and go, you remove it like that. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just remove uh, that. And I've got it tacked down into place with the transfer tape. And so while I hold the decal up, I'm going to use my squeegee to apply gradually directly across, laying it down gently while I go and swiping with firm short strokes. Now, now that it's applied, I can burnish it a little bit. And you want to do that because that adhesive is pressure sensitive. So when you're applying pressure, you're activating the adhesive and starting the curing process. So if I leave this on here after about three days time, that adhesive is gonna be pretty well cured to that surface. And then when I remove the transfer tape, I'm going to uh, remove it back against itself and roll it backwards at a 180 degree angle like this. Because if I pull out, I have the potential of pulling the vinyl away from the surface and creating an air bubble. So if I do that, and now, if you look at the glare, you will see there are absolutely zero bubbles, air bubbles, under that vinyl. It looks wonderful. And next, we're going to do the same thing or nearly the same thing with this wine glass. And one of the things I want to point out is this is a spherical shape. It's not just a tapered uh, tumbler or a straight tumbler where it's just a straight cylinder, which is much easier to apply to, but it is a spherical shape. So you have some multiple challenges here. And one of the things I like to uh, compare it to is imagine if you were trying to wrap a sheet of paper around a basketball 
um, it doesn't go that well because they're you know they're two different totally shapes and one uh, doesn't stretch in order to conform to the shape of the other one so vinyl uh, will stretch just a little bit uh, what some people do if their designs a little bit larger is they will take scissors and cut slits in the uh, transfer tape between the pieces of vinyl and allows them to manipulate it a little bit better um, in most cases what I tell people is just be careful of how large you make your design because it's much easier to apply a little bit smaller design than it is a larger design to a spherical shape. So we'll get started here by just removing the vinyl and again if you if your vinyl doesn't come off that easy with the transfer tape you need to evaluate what you have. Um, I'm actually going to use my squeegee here to hold that wine glass into place and the way that we do this is and I'm just going to visually center this again is we typically apply with one swipe down the middle and then do something similar or you could use your squeegee even but I use my fingers and go back and forth from one edge to the other now you see that there's a little bit of a wrinkle there that happens once I get to that part uh, that is where the design is large enough that it's kind of creating that problem I mentioned but this one is on the border so I'm going to go ahead and go with it and do the same thing to the other side but you want to apply gradually from one side to the other regardless of what the surface is so that you work that air out and don't trap it underneath And again we remove our transfer tape by rolling it back against itself and there you see a decal applied to a wine glass with zero bubbles underneath of it and so there you have uh, application of uh, adhesive vinyl with no air bubbles underneath it so uh, practice 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 it's all in the technique so hopefully this video has been helpful to you and uh, helping you uh, gain the knowledge that you need to practice that technique and uh, if you have any questions or comments post them down below the video in the comments hey folks i just wanted to take a minute to thank everyone for the love kindness and support that you've provided to tammy and i over the past several years it's been almost 10 years believe it or not been eight and a half years since we bought our first cricket so we're almost a decade into new careers for both of us so when you buy great products like workhouse 651 thermoflex heat transfer vinyl dpi sub premium sublimation ink blanks any of those things that you buy from our site help support us and our employees and our employees families don't forget about our subscription and membership which gives you uh, access to our e-learning courses and also significant discounts on product purchases as well so if you like our videos and everything we do click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and when you do click the bell next to it so that you'll get notified when i publish new videos and then in the video description there's also links to all of our facebook groups our facebook pages so joining those groups liking our pages leaving us reviews helps us out immensely and we thoroughly enjoy every minute of this journey along uh, this path with you to bring uh, love, kindness, and hope to the world using your crafting hobby or small business, whether it's been in person, on the phone, or through social media.